Hello, my gorgeous Sagittarians. This is Debs and this is your reading for mid-February 2022. Sag, how are you? It is great to be with you again. I hope all is good in your world. You're happy, healthy and safe. And we are going to be diving into the deck and seeing what comes through for you. Now, in meditation, I've just come out of meditation. In meditation, I saw someone opening an envelope um, and I heard the words, the answer you've been waiting for. Now, Sag, who knows, this may not be a love reading. This may well be a job offer coming in. It could be relating to papers you've been waiting for, travel visas. It could be to do with something you need to sign legally. It could be the ending of a legal case. I have no idea. It could be um, a letter or a card from someone you haven't seen for a while that you've been waiting for. Um, I don't know. So let's just delve into this reading and see where it takes us. OK, as always, using a crystal quartz to help me connect through with divine source. The deck is the Gilded Tarot, Chiron Marchetti. All right, guys, losing my voice a little bit. Sanji, do forgive me. I've done a lot of readings recently. <laughs> and do forgive the odd scratches on my arms and hands. I've been playing with my new rescue kitties and they've been having fun. <laughs> but their claws are very sharp. So anyway, forgive my, uh, my hands. So Archangel Michael, please join me and provide your guidance throughout this reading. This is the reading for my Sagittarians. This is mid February 2022. I keep seeing someone opening an envelope. Opening an envelope. Yeah. Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Azriel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Jophiel. Thank you, Michael. The answer you've been waiting for, Sag. Okay. Michael's saying stop and cut. Oh, Father Kerry is coming through. White Owl is coming through. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, people, here we go. Straight out with your card, Sag. Temperance in the reverse. I'm hearing at last, at last, at last. Because you've been fed up waiting for whatever this is, Sag. Fed up waiting. It's come through. It's coming through. It's going to be this period of time. We'll see if we can work out a timing for you. Okay. Yeah. So... Let's card out the world. OK, so for some of you, this relates to maybe a document about an ending. Relating to an ending, it could be divorce papers coming through. OK, got to be honest. It could be a final paycheck. It could be travel documents with the world, international travel. Maybe you've been sending off the papers to do with, I don't know, residency papers for a different country. Papers to do with a travel visa. Something that you've been waiting for is coming through in the post, Sag, and it's going to set you on a new path. It's what I'm hearing. Set you on a new path. OK. In the past, Seven of Swords in reverse, you may have been trying to figure out a way out of something, out of a situation, out of a dynamic, out of a company, out of a way of life away from a partnership. Yeah. In the immediate past, King of Cups in the reverse. For some of you, you opened up your heart and you expressed how you felt to someone or a group of people. Maybe after trying to get out of something, you opened up and you said, OK, cards on the table. I'm not enjoying this. This isn't fulfilling for me. I have a passion elsewhere. I have to tell you how I feel. Hmm. Okay. All right. In your thoughts, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, whatever plan you have made could entail a loss of a lump sum of money. Okay. So if you're moving, if you're relocating, it's going to cost you a fair bit. I know having moved from the UK to France, it cost an arm and a leg. It was worth it, but, you know, it may be a payout. This can be you paying a lump sum of money, but it is going to enable you to feel a sense of freedom. That's what I'm getting from this, Sag. Hmm, very interesting. In the immediate future, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm hearing money's a bit tight. Okay, 
So it could be you're in transition. It could be you're leaving one job, trying to get another job. It could be that you've received a last paycheck and you are now on the road to finding a new role. It could be that with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, whatever this is, is going to prevent you having to pay out as much as you were before. Now, this could be simply a house move. Who knows? But the world is travel sometimes for me. So it could well be that you're actually relocating somewhere, getting out of Dodge, finding somewhere cheaper to live, lessening your costs. Because this is you thinking, I'm no longer going to have to give as much as I was giving before. Okay? Interesting. Oh, wow. Look at these pentacles energy. In your fears, eight of pentacles in reverse. Fearing that there's going to be a larger financial loss than you thought there would be. Fearing you're going to have to pay out a lot more for some reason. You're going to lose a lot more. In the environment, whoever is thinking about you, waiting for you, I'm hearing, hoping it all goes well. Whoever is in your environment is sat in the Nine of Swords in reverse. They've come out of a period of stress, worry, fear on their own. You could be moving to be with somebody who is not well to be with them. Or simply the person that is in your environment seems to feel a lot easier because of a situation that you're bringing to a close. Or if they're not actually feeling easier, because this could be you just giving somebody a little bit of money. Maybe previously you were giving somebody a lot of money. That is what that card is. It could be this person is receiving clarity that you are off on a new path. It may be disappointing for them. We will see as the reading progresses. More pentacles energy, Sag. What is this about? Two of pentacles. Hoping to balance your money. Hoping to make the right decision. Hoping to keep all the balls in the air. I feel as if for some of you, you're definitely considering a move. We've got a ship and water, travel energy. So for some of you, you are actually definitely considering moving or preparing to move. The final card, Knight of Wands. You're on the way, Sag. That is a beautiful energy for you. How exciting. Yeah, Knight of Wands, you're on the way. Your passion has come back. You're inspired. You're going for it. Whatever this is, you're going for it. Okay, fantastic. Now, Nine of Cups, there may be a reason to celebrate. Ooh, okay. Or there could have been a situation where you were dealing with either a karmic partner, Sag, who was stepping out on you, going out, drinking too much, partying, not really wanting to commit to the partnership. You may, you may be separating from someone considering divorce. This could be you actually moving out of living with someone. This is you taking the first steps of becoming free, young, free and single. OK, I mean, this could be legal separation. You know, I'm going to pay you a little bit for now. Until I've got more money, maybe, and then we're going to move into full divorce. It could be that, guys. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. Now, you're either thinking about someone sat in the Nine of Pentacles, sad, somebody that you may want to move towards with a lot of passion, or you are simply male or female thinking of becoming single. That could be you. Ooh, sun in the reverse. Ooh, okay. Now, sun in reverse is either a delay in travel it could, though, it could, though, be you not having any enlightenment as to whether or not this person is still single. Maybe this is someone you want to move towards, but you don't know if they are with someone now in a committed relationship. OK, very interesting. OK, underneath the deck, Knight of Swords. So fast communication. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, you may be connecting with a younger air sign or you're communicating your thoughts. The emperor in the reverse. Now, you could be in a situation where you're trying to break away from a very controlling family dynamic if you are not actually married, Sag, and getting divorced. Because we've got the emperor and the empress both in the reverse. Now, unless you are in a very cold partnership with somebody that you have been married to, and this is you moving through divorce, 
preparing divorce papers, all this kind of thing. It could be that you have been supporting parents, maybe elderly parents. And you're realizing that your finances have been sucked dry and you've been trying to figure out a way of making sure that they're OK, but still being able to live your life. And that's challenging for a lot of people, you know, because you don't want to leave your parents high and dry if they're getting older. But you also don't want to maybe spend the next 30 years or the last 30 years of your life um, looking after them to the point where you miss living your life. Hmm. Could be that. Now, therefore, the Emperor in Reverse can be the energy of either a father who's unwell or even a very controlling father. You know, you will do things my way. I'm hearing as they have always been done, generations before. OK, so we could be looking at a traditional setup. This could have a cultural uh, meaning to someone. You know, we're doing things the way my father did, the way my grandfather did. You're not stepping outside the confines of the community type of energy. You could be speaking your peace to someone, Sag, and saying, I'm sorry, this is not me. I can't do this anymore. I need to spread my wings. It could be very difficult. So either your parents are upset or they're angry or they've been controlling or you're trying to get out of a marriage. I've got to be honest. There could have been a situation where this was a marriage of convenience. It might have been for a long time. You may have known your wife or your partner stepped out on you. You possibly stepped out on your partner. It wasn't really going to be patched up. And this is you realizing, OK, it can't carry on. We've got to just make a break. Guys, OK, now, Seven of Wands, you're defending your decision. You're defending your decision is all I'm getting from that card. OK, Ooh, now we've got the Queen of Swords in reverse, which is someone very angry and upset. And we've got the Hierophant, which can be religion and culture. So, Saj, for some of you, you're dealing with someone who does not agree with you moving away from your culture, from your religion, maybe detaching from a dynamic, a community of people. They're very unhappy, very unhappy. But I almost feel as if you've had enough, Sag. This may be a very specific reading for one of you. OK, wow, guys. Now, let's jump in and see where this takes us. I'm checking the camera, guys, moving it a fraction. All right, people. So. Temperance. Let's whisk through these energies again. Hold the cards up to the camera. Temperance in the reverse is you thinking, I cannot wait and coast and wait and coast any longer. This is also your Saggy energy feeling emotional and emotional because crossing that is the world. You're looking at an ending. You're looking at relocation. You may be thinking of moving to another state, another country, or you're simply Thinking about a brand new start and feeling a bit jittery. Oh, my goodness. Is this really happening sort of energy? But there is a building excitement mixed in with a sense of fear. I've got to be honest. This could be something you've been longing for for quite a long time. It's here. It's happening or it will be in the future, immediate future. And it's going to push you onto a new path. I feel as if, Sad, the biggest energy coming through is you standing your ground. That is what I'm feeling. Now, in the past, Seven of Swords in reverse, there could have been a little bit of sneaky energy. I don't know. I mean, if you were in a controlling family dynamic, maybe you were living with your parents and you had to sneak out to have some kind of social life they didn't approve. It was really awkward. Or maybe you undertook an affair as someone who was married to a partner who didn't put energy or effort into the marriage. I mean, for some of you, this was an arranged marriage. Maybe you met when you were quite young. And it died a death pretty quickly because maybe you realised that you were not ready to get married. You didn't want to marry the person that you had to marry. And it was all very, very difficult. Heartbreaking, I'm hearing. After that time with the King of Cups in the reverse, you had to express your feelings. You had to say what was in your heart because this is someone, Sag, and this is if this is you, you possibly got water in your chart as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is you keeping everything inside. 
feeling unhappy. I can't really express how I feel, but feeling all this emotion. This is you coming out with it. Now, this could be you talking to your parents. I'm sorry, I love you both, but I just can't do this anymore. This could be you having a very straightforward conversation with your partner. Well, you know that I've stepped out of the connection. I know you have too. I think we've got to call it a day. I think we're living a lie. I think this is making us both very unhappy. It could be just a very open, frank conversation with that card in the reverse. What you're thinking about is with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, you're going to have to lose a lump sum of money. It could be because you're moving out. You're having to find somewhere else to live. It could be that this is you thinking of relocating. Again, it's going to cost a lump sum of money. For others of you, you're thinking about offering someone the start of a new connection. But of course, you can't do it yet because you still have to deal with this really tricky dynamic. Whatever that is for you. Now, this could be you getting out of a situation that held you down. And this is you dealing with the nitty gritty of it. OK, maybe the financial aspects of it. So Archangel Michael, when does the Six of Pentacles come through for my Sagittarians in the immediate future, please? 18th, straight out, 18th of April. OK, April's going to be a big month for you, Sag. I'm also hearing that the final week of March is going to be very relevant. OK, so from the 18th of April, we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. You may be trying to stand your ground, Sag, in some way. You could be saying to a partner or your parents or a family dynamic, I can only give you a little bit. I simply cannot afford to give you what you think that you should receive or you hope to receive. I simply don't have the money. I mean, this could be you saying to a partner, this is going to be the last payout. I can't do this anymore. Saying to somebody, you know, I can give you this amount of money, but I can't pay out any more than that. This could be you thinking about going through a settlement situation. It could be you, I don't know, going through the law courts, trying to agree on the amount of money that you should give to whoever this is. They are, with the Nine of Swords in reverse, coming out of a period of stress. They might have felt on their own. It could be that the relationship just went under and they were scared that this was actually going to happen, that you were going to pull away. OK, they now know that this is what you're doing. So even though it's painful for them because they are sat in the Nine of Swords, they have clarity that at least they know what's going on. OK. And this is what you're saying to this person. This is what I'm going to give you. And this is what I'm going to be doing. And even though I don't feel they like it, they are accepting that that is what you're doing. In your fears, eight of pentacles in reverse, you're really fearing maybe the stability of a family dynamic, people that are around you to support you. If this isn't financially, this is emotionally. You could be fearing letting a job go because you're moving to another place. Maybe you're moving to another state, another country. Or you're fearing almost total financial loss because that is the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. A long-term commitment is the Ten of Pentacles. So you're fearing that if you are moving through divorce, your person is going to take 80% of the money that you have. And that scares the living daylights out of you. Whatever this is for you, that's what you're worried about. But as I always say, Sag, fear is not real. It's not a real emotion. It's a fictitious emotion based on negative past experiences. Worrying about things that haven't even happened yet. That is fear. It's not real. Push it away. What you're hoping for is maybe with the two of pentacles to have the chance to start again, to juggle your money, or you're hoping to have enough maybe to relocate or to find somewhere else to live, to jump on that ship that's coming in. You're hoping to have enough. The final card is the Knight of Wands. Now, this is fast movement forward. This is a very exciting energy. This is inspired action. This is you getting your passion back, Sag. I don't know, maybe your passion back for life. This is you on the move. I'm feeling a huge sense of relief and excitement picking up that energy. You're leaving all this dark energy behind that's been dragging you down. Yeah. 
So Sag, from here, I think let's get straight into the extension because I've already gone through these energies and we'll see what else comes through for you. Okay, guys, here we go. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of temperance in the reverse for my Sag? Thank you. That's crossed with the energy of the world in the upright. All right. Oh, the Hierophant. Now, this could be a family dynamic, a community of people. This could be a marriage. You're putting a close to something that was very traditional in your life, Sag, because I think you're shifting onto a brand new path. Oh, my goodness. Justice in the reverse. Oh, wow. So you're ending some kind of contract. Now, if this is to do with a job, you're leaving a company, you're ending the contract, you're handing in your notice. Okay. Um, again, if this is marriage, this is divorce. Or you may be severing a tie relating to a property, you know, taking your name off a lease, trying to sell a house. But it's definitely got a family or partnership connection attached to it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, my Sag, Ten of Wands. Now, this is you stressed. This is you burdened because you're realizing this is a very big deal. But Sag, look at what you're carrying. You're carrying all this weight, all this stress. You can't do it anymore. And you realize, I think you realized a while ago that something had to give. Something just had to give. Michael, what is the King of Cups in the immediate past for my lovely Sagis, please? You opened up and you spoke your truth to someone. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Now, this is in your head. You may have been really stressed about speaking your truth. I've got to tell people how I feel, what I want, what I hope for for the future. You ended up embracing that energy, Sag. It may have been nerve wracking, very stressful. It may have shocked a few people that you opened up and you said what you said. But I think this is you being honest with those around you. And you did it because you hoped that that would be the start of this new door swinging open to push you into a new life. It's what you wanted. Yeah. Two of Wands. So this is you speaking your truth, expressing your feelings and standing at crossroads in the immediate past. This is you thinking, do I move down a new path? Do I choose another person? Do I find another job? This is you trying to make a decision, having expressed how you feel. Okay. Now, Michael, what is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse in Saggy's thoughts, please? Yeah, Eight of Cups. Look at that. So accurate. When I leave, I'm going to have to lose a lump sum of money. It's going to cost if I do this, but I want to do this. Sag, for some of you... This is you leaving a nine to five job behind and going traveling. This is you thinking, I've never seen the world. I want to do it. For some of you, you're leaving an area that you lived in, maybe lived in for a long time. For others of you, you're walking out of a family dynamic and you are trying to get your feet on terra firma as an independent person. I'm hearing, I just need my life back. I need my life back. Wow. All right. Now, of course, you could be heading towards someone with the view that you want to offer someone the start of a commitment. So this could, could be you literally preparing to move towards somebody else. What is on Saji's mind? What is on Saji's mind? A hermit. Now, you could be wanting to connect with a Virgo who has been very quiet you could be wanting to move in with a Virgo. You could be wanting to walk away from a Virgo. Um, or this has nothing to do with a Virgo, which is the Hermit card, obviously. Um, this is you coming out of feeling alone, isolated, unhappy, and just restricted in a very dark place. You're just on the move. Your energy is changing. Okay, guys. What is the Six of Pentacles in the reverse for my Sag? What is the Six of Pentacles in reverse? 
All right, Ten of Cups in reverse now. You could be leaving a marriage. You could be leaving a family dynamic that's become very unhappy. I mean, if you live with your parents, um, I love my parents, but we've all done it. You know, even if you move back to live with them for a period of time, you know, maybe you go off to college and then you find a job and then you have a job transition and you live with them. It's difficult because you may be, I don't know, 28, 29, but they still treat you like you're 16. It might have been a very testing time for you. Now, if not, you are very clearly moving into formal separation from someone you may have been married to. This could be you living with the mother of your child and you're leaving to be with somebody else because there's no love there anymore. There's no contentment. There's no happiness. And this is what you're relaying to this person. My goodness. Wow. Wow. Can't believe it, Sag. Two tens. You could feel as if you were betrayed, you were backstabbed, you were treated unfairly. Because this is you very, very hurt. Very hurt. By something, by someone, by a community of people. If you'd said to your parents or your partner or your community, I'm sorry, I have to detach from you, I have to leave. You could have had a huge amount of backlash. We never want to see you again. We're cutting you out of the will. Fine. You know, if you leave, that's it. We don't want to see you again. Whatever this was, Saj, this was incredibly painful for you. Very difficult to pick yourself up from, but you're doing it. Congratulations, because whatever this was, you felt a lot of pain in doing this. But for an odd reason... Whoever is in your environment was stressing about this, maybe knowing that you were going to do something like this, and now they know that you're doing it. So I don't think they're happy, but they have clarity that you have just had enough. Because, Sag, we've got two tens, three tens now, ten, ten, ten. Yeah, what we haven't got is the ten of pentacles. Ten of wands, ten of swords, ten of cups in the reverse. Yeah, you've had it. Okay, you've had it. All right. So, yeah, eight of wands. I'm going, I'm leaving, I've had enough. This is you messaging someone to say it is over. It's done. I keep hearing I'm going. I'm sorry, I'm going. Yeah, you may apologize to someone or a group of people, but you're going. You're going. If you've got kids, you're apologising to your kids, you know. I'm sorry, but I have to leave. All right. What is on Saji's mind at this point of time? What is on Saji's mind at this point of time? Two of Cups. It is clearing up. So, Saj, I don't think you're leaving for a job or to relocate to another country for work, for a new life. I think... You've put a painful end to something because you're in love with someone. And maybe this person is not accepted by your family. Or maybe you were involved in a marriage and this was a one night stand or a, a long affair. And you just wanted to get out of this to be with your person. You're in love. Two of cups. This is a soulmate. This is a soulmate. All right. Now, what else do we have? Knight of cups in the reverse. So what I think you're doing is you're separating from someone or a group of people because you know you're in love, but you haven't moved forward towards the person that you love yet to say, this is what I'm doing. I think this is all under wraps. Whoever you're moving towards, Sag, I don't think has any idea of what you're doing. They don't know. They don't know. Yeah, Four of Pentacles, you're keeping all this to yourself from the person that you're going to be moving towards. Because I think what you want to do is make sure the loose ends are tied up, get yourself regrounded, maybe balance your finances, settle maybe living somewhere else, and then move towards your person to say, I want to see you. How about it? I've changed my whole situation. I've changed my life and I want to be with you. But for now, with the Four of Pentacles, you're not saying a word. I think you're telling the people that you're leaving and you're hanging on to your money. That's what you're doing. 
Okay. Now, who is the person in the environment? Who is the person in the environment? Oh my goodness. They're sitting in the energy of the devil. You could straight up be dealing with a Capricorn that you're moving away from. Or this is someone who could have toxic patterns of behavior. They could have addictions. They could be just very toxic to live with, very controlling. This could be somebody who has stepped out. This could be somebody who, I don't know, was unfaithful to you countless times. Somebody who had a shopping addiction. They couldn't stop spending your money. You were broke. Whoever this is has been sitting in the energy of the devil. Yeah. Recovering from addictions, maybe. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Sag. Oh, Sag. Oh, five of swords. This is someone who is very selfish. I want to do what I want to do. I don't care who I hurt. Wow. Three of cups in the reverse. Maybe drinking too much. This is somebody who may also have been out very promiscuous and slept with a load of people. Oh, wow. Yeah. Seven of cups. I mean, this is somebody who might have just made out as if they were single or behaved as if they were single. Page of Pentacles in the reverse, kept coming back to you for money. I need money. I don't have any money to feed their addiction. And they're now looking at you, hanging on to your money, turning your back and moving in a completely different direction. Yeah, they faced a tower moment. I think you ending it because you could not cope with this anymore was a tower moment for this person. Tower moment. What is this person thinking about, Michael? What is this person thinking about? The fall in reverse. That they were foolish. This is somebody now very stressed about what they're going to do when you've gone. This is somebody who maybe just spent your money, behaved like a bit like an idiot. I'm young, free and single and I can do what I want to do. Played um, the jester. This is somebody who is realizing playtime is over, Sag, because you're leaving. You're putting a stop to their antics, whatever they were doing. You could have been connected to an Aries, but you're leaving. What are they thinking about? Okay, that they have to heal from heartbreak because I think they somehow feel responsible you know, I was foolish. I was sitting in the energy of the devil. I was overindulgent. And yeah, they could be sitting in a lot of guilt and remorse. But you're hanging on to your money, Sag. You're turning your back. You're dropping this burden. And this is closure. Oh, my goodness. Right, Michael, what is the Knight of Wands? You're on the move, Sag. Oh, you're on the move. Very exciting energy. Wow. Yes, fantastic. Six of Swords, you're moving to calmer waters. Now, for some of you, if you've had real problems with whoever this is or whatever group of people this is, you're not telling anyone where you're going. You're just getting out of Dodge. You're just going. You know, I'll connect with you when I found somewhere to live, when I've settled. I'll let you know where I am. You may not. Um, this could have been a very difficult dynamic for you to get out of. Six of Swords is, I'm moving away. Five of Pentacles, yeah. You don't have a lot of money to play with. You may feel a bit on your own. But there is freedom, Sag. And I think for you, I mean, you're all about a sense of freedom. This has been long awaited. Long awaited. And I just think you can't wait to live your own life. Your own life. Oh, my goodness. Four of Cups. All right. So you may have someone trying to reconcile with you. And in which case, I think you're going to say no. Sorry. No, I'm not interested. Or you're not thinking about love. Maybe towards the end of February, Sag, you're trying to work on your finances. Because underneath that, we have the Seven of Pentacles, which is you manifesting your stability. Okay. Okay. And we've got the magician, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. You're manifesting more stability for yourself. 
You're grounding yourself. You're saving your money. You're on a new path, Sag. Oh, my goodness. On a new path. Six of Cups in the reverse. A little bit of nostalgia about the past. Maybe you had kids and you'll have to now see them, I don't know, once every couple of weeks or the weekends. Maybe this is you reminiscing about childhood days if you're moving away from a family dynamic. You know, I remember when my, my parents supported me when I was growing up. There's a little bit of nostalgia, but I feel sad that there is such a wonderful feeling of freedom and liberation that it's not going to stop you knowing that you did the right thing. It's not going to make you feel you did the right, you did the wrong thing. It's not going to make you feel, Sag, that you shouldn't have done what you did. Okay? This is you thinking, yeah, I knew I had to do that. I knew I had to get out of that situation and move forward. So, what else do we have for my Sag, please? What else do we have for my Sagittarians? The Hanging Man. Okay. Now, Sag, this is you sitting and thinking and being able to breathe without anyone else breathing down your neck, telling you what to do, trying to control your future. This is you just on your own thinking, all right, what do I do now? What do I do now? I've broken free of this situation. I'm concentrating on my money. Now, this is you thinking about things. Where do I want to go? What career do I want to take on board? When is the right time to approach my two of cups person? You're thinking about things. You're thinking. All right. So what is Sag going to do? What is Sag going to do? What is Sag going to do? Pals don't want to come out. Oh, four of swords in reverse. Okay. So Sag, after really thinking about things, you're going to pick up that sword and take action. I almost feel as if this is you resting after a really difficult transition. You know, when you've been in a really tough situation and you almost need a couple of months just to sit and think and get yourself together and become emotionally more grounded before you then take the next step. This is what you're doing. A bit of nostalgia, you're thinking about things, you're resting, you're rejuvenating, you're planning your future. And this is just before you take the next step. So, Michael, what is the next step? <laughs> wow. Ace of Cups. So, Zad, the next step for you is love. Now, this, to be honest, could be self-love. Because I haven't seen a lot of love in these cards. Maybe you were brought up without love. Maybe... Your partnerships without love. Maybe you weren't loved as a child. I don't know. This can be self-love. I mean, this is you even maybe realizing that you were damaged in the past by a lack of love. And this is you coming to terms with maybe a difficult childhood. I don't know. Now, if not, you're picking up that sword and you're moving towards somebody that you feel this strong soul bond with. Wow. The death card. My goodness. Now, you could be moving towards a Scorpio. You could be going through a major transformation within yourself. Realizing I am worthy of love. I am meant to be happy. I'm not meant to sit in a very controlling atmosphere where my life is mapped out for me. No, no, no. Sad, you're the warrior. If anyone can break out of a situation, you can. You're completely transforming your life. Yeah, this is you wanting love, wanting to offer love. My goodness. And I think the divine has a hand in this. Yeah, you could be leaning on your spirituality, on your religion. You could be understanding that you have a calling that is not what you were doing before. Maybe for some of you, you'll end up being healers, teachers, yoga instructors. Um, maybe you'll look at um, connecting with people 
who have been through a tough time. You could end up training to be a counsellor. This for you is going to change your life. And I think this is going to put you on a really firm footing. This is transformation and the divine supporting you in whatever you're doing. So Sag, let's close this out. Let's have a final card, Michael, for my Sagittarians, please. Final card for my Sag. Final card for my Sag. Knight of Pentacles. Now, this is you getting that job. This is you getting your money stable. This is you moving very slowly towards someone that you want to commit to. After filling your own cup, sorting yourself out and realising you are worthy of love, Sag. You're worthy of love. Okay? Very powerful reading for someone. I'm going to leave it there. I hope that's helped. Sending love and light your way. And I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye, Sag.